Now in the third section of our lecture topic genital tract injuries we will talk about the coital injuries. The coital injuries are the injuries that occur as a result of the intercourse and these are very common in the rape victims. Uh, forensic consideration and management of the victims and then local injuries as a result of uh, rape or any other coital injuries. Coital injuries, minor hemorrhage due to uh, tearing of the hymen or bruising of the vagina or urethra may occur at defloration. So these injuries are common, especially at the uh, time of the, usually with the first intercourse when there is rupture of the hymen or when there is bru bruising of the vagina or urethra usually occur in rape victims in very young girls in post-menopausal post atrophy and vaginal abdominal hysterectomy. So all these are the common uh, conditions that leads to coital injuries. The management, small tears that occur as a result of uh, intercourse, usually they don't need any treatment and uh, only pressure application is enough. The rape victims, usually the premenarchal, uh, childbearing postmenopausal. So depending on the what is the age of the rape victim. Forensic consideration is uh, medical legal issues. All the rape victims, whenever there is a patient with the rape history, they come under the medical legal cases and uh, police should be notified in that case. So it's the medical legal issue, uh, legal diagnosis, referral through police, hospital, doctor, or by self-referral. Examination is important as early as possible in these rape victims because there is a time limit during which this examination is helpful and usually there is a time limit during which you can find the alive sperms in the uh, vagina and this is important that patient uh, should consult the doctor or should go to the police fast. Due consent and confidentiality is important that gives the patient uh, usually confidence that their information will re remain confidential. Detailed statement from the victim examination findings are reported recorded since the rape victims is the medical legal case so detailed history and examination is important and uh, sometimes these uh, uh, reports and findings usually go to the court also so it's important that the information should be complete and accurate. Sperm are rarely detected after 72 hours and motile sperms later than 4 hours. So after 72 hours usually any examination is hard to find the sperms. Management is um, examination with clinical and evidential protocols to treat any local injuries if present to perform appropriate tests, to prevent infection and STD, to prevent pregnancy. It's important to prevent pregnancy in case emergency contraception should be given to the affected person. 
medical legal procedure and pro provide emotional support. Any rape victim, usually they are very unstable uh, psychologically. So it's better to give them emotional support to the uh, patient. And then it's uh, always important to protect any sexually transmitted infection to give them any vaccination or any antibiotics or medicines in case uh, to prevent any pregnancy emergency contraceptives should be given any local injuries if present they should be treated in the form of like bruises you can see these are the bruises present in the neck if there are laceration buttocks uh, in the around the neck or buttocks or vulva they should be treated Extensive lacerations in the area of hymen, vagina, and urethra. Injuries should be repaired under general anesthesia. If lacerations are deep or big, they should be repaired by the surgery, and usually general anesthesia should be performed because patient is not in the stable state of mind, mentally and physically. Preventing infection and STD, infection with gonorrhea, syphilis, chlamydia, trichomatis, HIV, hepatitis B should be prevented. And preventing pre pregnancy, emergency contraceptives should be used. Medical legal procedures, which is history and examination. Detailed and complete history and examination is important because it's a medical legal case. Emotional support by treating psychic trauma. That's all about the uh, rape victim and if there are any local injuries present, how they should be managed and treated. Thank you for watching Scardia.com.